I'm Stan Barthelme, and uh, my job is to be the coordinator for all the youth activities for the Pheasants Forever chapters in Colorado. And we try to touch kids. It doesn't make any difference whether they're church groups, Boy Scout groups, 4-H groups. Uh, we try to go out and, and help them with everything we can that uh, has to do with the outdoors. It was decided that we needed to do something so we would have equipment. So uh, I, with the help of some friends and tremendous people that gave us very large donations, were able to put together two trailers. These trailers consist of one, which is a large trailer, has fishing equipment, 22 rifles, shotguns, clay throwers, ammunition, archery, archery targets, whatever we need to put kids outside to have a good time. The other trailer I just finished is a smaller trailer that is a shooting trailer and in it is the archery equipment, the 22s and the shotguns and the clay throwers. So we can go to any activity for any group. I don't care again whether it's Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, uh, church groups and we've already been to some of these groups and uh, they can use our our equipment to put on whatever they need to uh, make these kids learn there's a lot of things going on outdoors our largest request has been for the archery equipment uh, we've been all over Colorado putting on things with archery and which is kind of hard to believe for a pheasants forever group that talks about shotguns and everything we're actually doing archery uh, activities um, this year so far, according to my calculations, uh, these two trailers have been a, at events for about 753 kids, as the count as of this morning. And uh, we've got a little over 100 more uh, kids that we should touch, plus their parents between now and the end of the year. Uh, some of the activities we have planned, for example, we're going to be doing uh, a goose hunt and uh, we've set it up on days between Christmas and New Year's and we should be able to get 45 kids out there just to go goose hunting and we're doing uh, actual live wild pheasant hunts with uh, kids and their parents and uh, we've got uh, uh, we're doing hunter ed classes now and uh, matter of fact the last one that was held last weekend had 52 kids there to take their hunter ed including a Boy Scout troop so those are some of the activities that we're really involved in. We even have a, a summer camp and uh, we call it TUN and it stands for the Ultimate Nature Experience and we hold this up at a, a, a youth camp up by Jamestown, Colorado and we take 40 kids and we get them from all over Colorado and uh, we take them up there for three days of adventure. Uh, we do allow them to do the sporting clays, we do the 22s, we actually have the pond stocked and they get to catch trout. Uh, at this camp we taught them how to use GPS's, we taught them how to recognize beetle kill and how to take care of it. Uh, in Colorado we have a mistletoe problem where they're infesting our pine trees. We taught them how to look for that. Uh, they've gotten to actually help clear a fire trail around the camp. Uh, we've taught them the difference between the types of soil that are found in Colorado that you can take and what you can plant that's habitat for all kinds of things. I don't care whether it's a robin or a magpie or a pheasant or a grouse or whatever it is. Uh, we've taken them hiking in some of the most beautiful country in the world. Um, I think one of the really important things about it is we do the LEP program which is the Leopold Education Project where we talk about all the teachings of Aldo Leopold. Uh, we spend quite a bit of time doing that. Uh, the kids learn about uh, taking care of the kitchen. They help in the kitchen, they help set the tables, they help with the dishes. Uh, they do all of this type of stuff and, and uh, it's, it's really a learning experience. It's, it's been exciting to see these people come from inner city that don't realize what's really out there and then to get feedback from them about 
the exciting time they had, whether it was shooting sporting clays, archery, catching their first trout, uh, going on their first mountain walk, seeing a deer for the first time, whatever it is. It's, it's been real exciting at this camp. We've been able to partner up with many, many people. Uh, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, uh, Colorado Bow Hunters Association, the um, uh, CYO, Colorado Youth Outdoors, has become a new partner for us and we've done a couple activities already and we have many more planned with them. Uh, we've been able to work with several fishing clubs to help us with the fishing programs. We've been hooked up with some really neat partners that have donated money uh, so that we could buy all of this equipment. And a lot of them are anonymous donations. People just give us money so that we can accomplish what we do. But uh, we have about nine or 10 really good partners that uh, we are able to call on to help us with whatever might happen. Next year, we're gonna do a camp out and we're expecting 100 kids there. And it's gonna be a parent child camp out and you can bring your mo big fancy motor home or your little pup tent we don't care we're going to set it up and at that event i'm pretty excited about it we're going to have fishing we're going to have archery 22 rifle and clay shooting so and we'll do some hiking we'll do again we'll do some of the leopold stuff and uh just have a really good thing like the campfire at night where we can have our stories and have a good time. So uh, there's just a lot in the future that we're really excited about. This year has been one of the most rewarding years that I think anybody could ever have. Uh, I've spent so much time with uh, young people this year and seen what a wonderful group of young people we have. Uh, the excitement on their face when they hit the target with, I don't care whether it's, whether it's with an arrow, uh, with a shotgun, or they catch a fish, that smile on their face and the excitement within their heart is, is the best reward any human being could ever get. And those rewards have been so much this year that uh, this has been a fun job probably the best job I've had and not get paid for, so uh, it's really exciting.